What's up, YouTube? What's up, Vapor.com, bringing you another review, this time of the Clopper T5. Um, looks like a wooden box. It's not. It's a cardboard box, but it is a aesthetically uh, nice-looking package here. So we've got your, on the back of the box, you've got your uh, product features, organic LED screen, single 18650, your resistance, 0.2 to 3.6 ohms, uh, the fact that it's a 50 watt device, reverse battery protection, so if you put it in the wrong way, which you guys of course never would, but you shouldn't, and it is still protected. Um, you've got your firmware update coming, um, and then your minimum and maximum voltage here, and your construction of 6061 aluminum. So, without further ado, let's open this box up and see what we got inside here, okay? that down, open the box up, and here you go. Here's your Clapper T5. Um, yeah, when I first looked at the mod and pictures, I was like, did these guys, were they like playing PlayStation Move and accidentally try to vape their Move controller and were like, oh my gosh, let's, that's the mod we should design. <laughs> so, I mean, guys, that's what I thought it looked like when I saw it in the pictures. Um, but with all jokes aside, let's open it up and see how it actually looks. So open that up. You've got your user manual here. And on the first page, you've got a chart or table with your wattage, minimum, maximum, your the same information, some of the same information that you had on the back there. Um, I'll let you guys take a look at that. And then I'm sure there's all sort of information about the functions in here, which we'll talk about. And let's see, uh, there's a diagram on the back of this that actually shows you the functions of the mod as well. Wattage down, wattage up, puff counter on the display, d CPU temperature on the display, um, your resistance, voltage, wattage, and then your battery levels. And then your fire button, of course. So let's actually get to the rest of this. You got a nice little card in here that talks about your big surprise on September 16th. I'm expecting a bump up in wattage. I don't know how much they can do with the single 18650. Um, but, you know, to, to buy the device for its 50 watt capabilities and, and be able to bump up to 60, 70, 75 watts would be, would be awesome, you know. Um, and I'm hoping for that. I don't know what else they can surprise us with, but um, nonetheless, it's going to be a surprise on September 16th. So set your calendars. Um, that's the card. In the package, we've got your new favorite screwdriver. It's actually right here. Um, you know, same diameter Phillips head, just better, uh, just lengthier, so you know you have more control. Put that to the side. USB charging cable. Okay, let's talk about this for a second. Put this to the side. USB charging cable, people. We've got my standard micro USB cables that um, that we use with our phones or whatnot. And then this. It's the same. It'll fit your phones. It just won't fit your... Um, both of these will fit your phones. This is the one that came with the mod. This is l longer here. And this is the only one that will actually fit all the way inside your mod to be able to charge it. You can't use your standard cables anymore. So look forward to carrying around an other cable with you. Not like you don't carry around enough stuff, right? Your vape fanny packs and all that. <laughs> So let's put this to the side. That's a minus for me, but you know, it is what it is. It's not that big of a deal, but now I have to carry this thing around. Little box in here. Open this thing up and you've got your screws inside and gold plated screws for your contact. Uh, the other screws are for your battery assembly at the bottom of the unit. So put that to the side. And finally, you have your mod. So those are the battery assembly screws I was talking about. Then you've got your gold-plated contact screw on top, adjustable, 510 threaded, Clopper T5 branding along the top here, and vent holes for your battery on the bottom, your charging port there. So let's go ahead and power this thing up. Five clicks to turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. Matrix. Yeah, binary flashing all over the place, and then your Clopper T5 logo and your display. So the display is pretty big actually. I like I like that. Pretty nice. Your battery level, wattage, resistance voltage, 
CPU temperature, and then your puff counter. So, yeah, it's not that I took 145 puffs to get down to 33% battery, because I'm pretty sure I didn't have a fresh battery when I, when I started using this thing anyhow. So, there you have it, you know, the mod of the cylinder. This, this, this whole, this is just, uh, it, it doesn't actually have that shape, it's a, it's a cylinder. Um, as you can tell from the back, you know, but now you kind of get what I was talking about, the move controller. So let's go ahead and throw an Addy on this and see how it performs here. Pretty smooth threading there, so not pretty smooth, absolutely smooth threading there. Um, I'll pull this off here so we can see how it performs. So actually I'm at 0.3 resistance and it looks like 3.7 volts to maintain 50 watts here so that's pretty neat so let me go ahead and juice this wick up before I show you guys how to catch your wicks on fire so let's do that all right so pretty good so I've got my authentic zenith on here I'm going to go ahead and take a vape on it and see how I like it here. Put that back on. Move this out of the way. Yeah. And I like it. Performs pretty well. And I liked it 150 times, if you can believe that, since I started making this video. So, or since this morning. So, um, performs well. You know, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the assembly off, but before I do that, I'm going to connect the battery charger to it to show you guys how, um, well, show you guys the charging screen. You know how it charges, but let me show you how the charging screen looks. And we're back. Let's go ahead and connect the charging cable to it. And here you have it. It's a nice display. I mean, actually, the device is on right now. So, you know you get your temperature and your puff counter here, but if I turn it off, three, four, five, you still get your charging display, which is nice, you know, compared to your DNA 30 that you, your Clopper DNA 30 that you had, that you had to peek in through the window to see the, the red light, you know, you can actually see the fact that it is actually charging. And then, you know, you can see what your battery level is actually at before you pull it off your charging unit, which is, which is cool. I like that, you know, so, that's that. Let's turn it back on and go through some of the functions before I take the bottom assembly off. Pull this thing off. All right, so wattage down. Oh, here we go. Unlock. So both wattage down and wattage up to lock and unlock the device. So now I can scroll it. Um, and just so we're clear here, the lock function is only so that you do not, um, that you, don't, you can't... Uh, basically accidentally adjust your wattage down the device will still fire it just locks the the fact that you can't move your wattage up and down so you know it's locked right now but you know like I said device still fires um, but it's got an automatic sleep mode on it the stealth mode is wattage down and the fire button at the same time so hold those two together it goes normal mode and then stealth mode and now if I fire it there you have it, nothing displayed on the screen. If I actually had the atomizer off, which I guess I can do just to show you, um, it will say, you know, check atomizer. It'll say the same thing if you go below the 0.2 or exceed the, the recommended um, resistance on your builds. So let's take it back out of stealth mode. Again, we'll hold the wattage down and power up or fire button. So there you have it, folks. I'm going to go ahead and take the bottom assembly off now and let you guys see the USB, uh, or I mean uh, the battery assembly. So let's do that. So I've taken the three screws off here. Um, and here are your bottom contact, gold plated contact. This is aluminum here. This is actually all aluminum. Take your battery out your gold-plated contact inside there, your USB charging port, you know, same as before, your one, two, three screw holes there. 
So that is the bottom assembly uh, for your battery. You know, it just goes back in. It's kind of springy once you get the battery in there, you know. Um, to put this back on is kind of a pain. But the idea is that you'll be USB charging it. So unless you actually need to replace your battery, um, you know, you should be all right. So that is that. Let me do a quick size comparison between, like, some of the other units here. We've got your Clopper uh, DNA30 um, right here. And then you've got that IPv2 50 watt box mod here. So there's your size comparison. Like I said, I think, I mean, I like the feel of the device itself. I just got to get used to it. I'm, I'm, I liked the, the box mods form factor already. I can fit this thing into my jean pocket in the, you know, the small jean pocket that nobody uses for anything or that I don't use for anything. Um, but you know, it's a different style. That's always good, right? To be unique. Everybody, um, likes things that are, that are styled slightly differently. So there you have it. You know, this thing is slightly uh, in height. It's about the same, but obviously, you know, this is a cylinder versus your rectangular box mod. So put that back to the side. Well, guys, I hope this review has been helpful to you. Um, you know, check us out on www.whatsupvapor.com, and that's W-A-T-T-S-U-P-V-A-P-O-R.com. Comment, like the video, subscribe for future reviews. Um, you know, we're trying to, trying to stay up with the newest stuff, so check us out, guys. And I hope, again, that this was helpful to you in some way. Have a good day, and happy vaping.